beautiful people welcome to Remy's fashion my name is Remy in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a 3D appliqué on a top or dress are you looking to add a unique touch to your wardrobe if so 3D applique is the perfect way to do it whether you're crafting a dress or embellishing an existing garment this technique can be used to bring any item of clothing to life with the help of this video tutorial you will learn how to make a gorgeous 3d applique heart design embellishment for your dress so let's get started February and it's the season of love so I'm going to show you how to make a heart design embellishment I'm going to do the demonstration on this Victorian corset if you have not seen how I drafted and sew this top I put the link in the cards above and in the description box below go and watch it here are the materials you will need for this project I'm going to be using this fabric so I have the picker here. This I'm going to be using to pick my rhinestones and set them wherever I want them to be. I have the hot fix rhinestone tool here. I have hard cutters, different sizes here. Be careful if you're using a plastic one. I have some plastic ones here so that the soldering iron does not melt them. You can use an erasable pen to trace the shape on your fabric and then you use a soldering iron to cut out. So if I'm going to be demonstrating using this plastic soldering iron, I'm going to be very careful so that it does not melt my cutter. I have some here that are not plastic. Then I have this big acrylic heart shape one. I have my Millennium copper wire which I'm going to be using to make my fabric stand and with this copper wire it can make your shapes stand whatever shape you're using. It makes it stand and be able to adjust it however you want. Then I have some pearls here which I'm going to be using to embellish my heart shape design and then this is used with the pearl if you're using the pearl machine and I have the pearl setter here which I'm going to put the pearl and I'll put this as well to be able to set my pearl for the decoration of my heart embellishment then I have the cup chain here which I'm going to be using to embellish my heart shape design I have some rhinestones here which I'm going to use as well for my heart embellishment and then I have a cotton pressing cloth so anytime you're using a thin fabric like this make sure to have have a cotton fabric that you're going to use to cover it so that you do not iron directly on top of this material put something over it like cotton fabric just like I have here then you iron on top of this that way you're not burning or ruining your fabric I have different kinds of glue here I have E7000 I have E6000 and then I have a glue gun here and then this is the candle for the glue gun whichever one you have you can use any one of them will do and then you should have a steam iron I have my steam iron here I have my hemming gum here I have a small wood here which I'm going to place my fabric on when using the soldering iron because I do not want to ruin my table you can cut your fabric on a glass using soldering iron as well but this is what I'm going to be using for this project so this is my soldering iron that I'm going to be using and then I have a plier here that I'm going to use to cut my wire the first thing I'm going to do is to double my fabric into two to make it firmer this is my fabric I'm going to put hemming glue on here in the middle and then I'll cover it up and then I'm going to iron it to melt the hemming glue in between so that it can stick together and the fabric is going to be worn. it all up so the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover it up using the other part of the fabric once I've done that I will take my cotton fabric and I'll place it on top and then I'll take my steam iron and then I will iron as I'm ironing this is going to melt the glue in between and make my fabric to stick to each other
ironing in my hemming glue to the middle of my fabric. My fabric is a bit stiff. It's stiffer than what it was before. So the next thing we're going to do is you use a stencil, a cutter, or you draw out any shape of your choice that you want to use with your project. I'm going to be using my cutters for this project. Just like I said earlier, with this plastic, you have to be careful so that your soldering iron will not melt it. So it's either you use your erasable pen to draw out the pattern or you use a chalk to draw out your pattern so that you will not melt your cutter. So I'm going to cut out my shapes now with my soldering iron. So I'm going to be using this wood just like I said so that I will not ruin my table. See that beautiful hat? Wow, so beautiful. I'm gonna cut out one more big one and then I'll cut out smaller ones as well. Soldry iron is quite hot, so be careful so that you don't burn yourself. Here's my second big hat. I'll cut out medium sizes. One more big one and then we'll work with those ones. After cutting out our hats, this is what I have. So we're going to work with this ones. And then the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to use my fabric glue. You can take any glue you want to use. I'm going to be using my E6000 and I'm going to add it to where I want to add my cup chain. So this is my cup chain. Okay. So I want it to go around and then in the middle as well. So I'm going to be putting my glue all around the hat and then I'm going to put a wire in between because I want some of them to be 3D. So I'll put a copper wire in between and then I'm going to put glue on top and then put my cup chain on top as well. I still want to use my board because I do not want to ruin my table. I'm going to keep it to set a bit and then I'll continue applying my glue to the other hat. So I'm going to take the first one now. Let's start applying our cup chain to it. Just follow where you put your glue. When you get to the end, you can use your scissors to cut. So I'll continue with the other ones. putting my cup chain round my heart patterns. This is what I have. Then the next thing I'm going to do is 
To give it that 3D effect, you should add your wire to the middle of the hat. So I'm going to turn them into 3D by adding the wire in the middle. I'll use glue and then I'm going to put the stones on top as well just to cover the wire to make it very neat. That way it can actually stand on your dress and to give it the 3D effect that you want it to give you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. <music> So you can just measure how much you need like for here now I need from here to here so I'll just cut I have my plier which makes it very easy to cut and then I'm going to put my glue in the middle and then I'll put my wire just like I did earlier let it set so I'll take my wire and I'll place it in the middle my wire in the middle so I went ahead and I added some on the edge because it's so big I wanted it to really stand so when you hold it you can actually bend it anyhow you want it to give it that 3d effect you see so that's why I added in the middle so now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put cup chain in the middle as well just to cover it so I'm just gonna put all here and cover it all and then we're gonna add our beads and then we'll put some rhinestones to finish the decoration so that our embellishment will look really unique so I'm gonna take my glue again I'm gonna put gum in the middle and on the side and then I'll put my cup chain just to cover up my wire <music> see I just put it on top like this and then I'll cut To go ahead and do the rest and then i'll come back and show you what they all look like so after adding our cup chain to the heart shape this is what they all look like you can leave them like this you can see if you hold this up this can stand you can bend it anyhow you want it to go okay this is giving us a 3d effect so now you can arrange them however you want them you can leave them like this or go ahead and add more rhinestones you can even add beads as well on one of them i'm going to show you how to use this tool to add beads to your embellishments so this is what you need so you need these beads so i'm just going to show you how to use it and then we'll add some beads to our heart shape embellishment so you take one of this i'm going to put it inside this hole and then i'll take the bead i'll put it on here okay you set it wherever you want it to be i'm going to put it in the middle here and then i'll press it so you take one of the pins you put it inside then you take a bead it goes in on top and then you take where you want the bead to be and then you just push it in and then this is it that's the bead you can do a few of them like that So you can keep making them like this. I'll put a few of them. beads to some of them this is what they look like okay just be creative and decorate it however you want then you can put rhinestones scattered all over the place so i'll just put a few pieces so that you see how it is applied so this is my applicator so i put it on so that it can heat up and then these are my stones and this is my stone picker so i'm going to take my stone picker now i'm going to put it wherever i want my rhinestones to be let's start with this one that we've added beads so i'm just going to scatter rhinestones in between so we'll use this picker you can use this or you can use a tweezer so use it to pick it put your stones wherever you want it to be after 
putting your stones where you want them to be then you can take your applicator and then just hold it down and then you can just count one to five and it should be set if not you continue it's just gonna melt the glue underneath the rhinestone and make it stick see it's stuck on it already <music> how to use the rhinestone tool to put rhinestones on your design as you can see you can stand and then you can bend it anyhow you want it you can arrange this on whatever dress or top you want it you can sew in this to the dress either you sew it in or you glue it in okay a part of it and then you can arrange this however you want okay this can be like this can arrange it anyhow you want it you can add more stones you can fill it up you can make more hearts you can mix and match I will now tack the 3d cup chain to my top or dress and then I will arrange my remaining hats on it this is what our design that we have created look like you can be very creative with your 3d designs so with these we've come to the end of this tutorial let me know if you will try out this 3d applique on your tops or dresses in the comment section below and if you do please tag me on Instagram at Remy's fashion I would love to see what you create hope this tutorial was helpful please give me a thumbs up like share and subscribe if you've not done so already thank you so much for watching see you in my next tutorial take care and god bless